So we've got an empty song here, and the first thing we want to do is add a track. And there's a few different ways of doing it. The easiest way is to use the shortcut T for add track. So I'm going to hit T, and it brings up this add tracks window. I'm just going to hit cancel for a moment, just to show you that we can also right click here on the left in the track list and go add tracks. That'll bring up the same window. Again, escape will cancel it, or under the track menu here, add tracks. So here we have a new kind of organization for older Studio One users. I'm going to start by creating an instrument track. So we can set the name that we want to call it. We can create as many tracks as we want. We can color it manually by turning off auto color and clicking here, but I'm just going to leave the auto color on. And we can have the input set to our default input. You'll recall we set that up. Or if we're using multiple devices, we can set which one specifically we want there. In my case, the default is fine. And if existing instruments are present in the session, we can select those and connect to them. But I'm going to create a new instrument to associate with this track since this is our first one. Now we have something here called load track preset, and this is new in Studio One Six. Track presets store both track and channel parameters. Now, tracks and channels are two separate things in Studio One. Tracks are what we deal with here in the main song page, and they're connected to channels in the console view in the channel is what controls the volume and the plugin processing and so on. So the track connects to the channel. So track presets store both the track and channel parameters. So it's kind of like taking a snapshot of the current state across the arrangement and in the mixer. Now the track parameters include things like track delay, the time stretch function that we've chosen, if follow chords, and any even assigned instrument preset in the case of instruments like this. So I'm going to create a new instrument, and I'm not going to load a track preset. We can click here, and it'll bring up a variety of options. And of course, you can create your own, which we're going to look at in a moment. But let me click Cancel and just bring that back up. So I'm going to name this again, and I'm going to set this to a new instrument. And I can choose my instrument from here. And if I don't, I can create a track with no instrument and then just drag and drop from here onto it. But I'm going to create it right from here, and I'm going to choose presence, which is one of the built-in instruments from Studio One. So let me click OK. And now we have this named, and we have the little icon here that I can click on to open the instrument editor, which in this case is presence. And I'm going to call up a patch that I like. Right now we're not hearing anything, but if I click here, I'm going to go to bases, and that's one possibility. Or I'm going to just choose this for now and double click to select it and I'll click this to close it. So let's look at what's happening here. I'm going to hit F3 to open this up and we see the console view here with the channel. So that's the track and that's the channel. So the channel parameters that are stored with a preset include things like the volume and pan level, any insert effects, maybe any internal routing if I'm using a splitter and any send assignments. IO routing in the case of an audio track, these can all be stored, even the name and the color, all be stored as a track preset. So you saw I had the option of loading a track preset when I created the track, but we can also apply them to existing tracks. So I can simply right click here and I can go load track preset and it'll bring up that box with the different track presets that are available. And I can also drag and drop them from here in the instruments. I have track presets here and those are defaults. And I can even apply a track preset in the console view to a channel. If I right click here, we have the apply track preset option as well. But I want to create my own. So let's say I'm going to call up an insert effect here. I can click the plus button and type in my name that I want to look for and call up a plugin that way. But I want to show you a new way to do it. Let me just click out of here. We have a new channel overview window. We get to it by clicking this, the channel editor button, and it defaults to this new overview which provides a single consolidated view of all the channel parameters, including the input controls, inserts, sends, cue mix sends, if they have them set up. And it'll update for selected channels. You can pin it at the top and then just click on different channels and it'll update. So it's a great kind of overview. I'm just going to leave it unpinned for the moment. And here we see the instrument and the routing, the pan, the volume, and so on. So I'm going to call up my insert from here. I can click here to call up a preset effects chain, but I'm just going to click plus and I'm going to type in pro EQ. I want to call up 
the PreSonus Pro EQ and there it's in there and I can click there and I get a little graph of it and I can double click and open the interface. And this is the new updated Pro EQ3. So let's make uh, some settings just for the sake of editing this. Maybe a bit of click. So let's say I'm gonna use that. So just for the sake of creating a track preset, I've got that. And again, we can always recall that over there. So what I can do now is just simply take this and drag and drop it into the browser, into my track presets. Let me just name it first. It's a long name, but just for illustrative purposes. I'm gonna take that and drag it into the track presets. And now if we look over here, we're gonna see Eli's synth-based track preset. So that's available. And of course I can take this and drag and drop it into one of the subfolders if I want to. Or what I can do is right click on here and create a new folder within the instruments folder so I can really manage my own track presets however I want. So to summarize, track presets store both track and channel parameters. And the track parameters that they store include track delay, time stretch, follow chords, and even instrument presets if we're working with instruments. And the channel parameters include everything, volume and pan, inserts, routing, send assignments, name and color. And they can also be applied to existing channels. So for any selected tracks, you can just right click inside the track header and choose store track preset or load track preset. And we can also store them simply by dragging and dropping into the browser. Tracks have a load track preset in their right click menu and channels have the apply track preset option also in their right click contextual menu. And there's the new channel overview window, which provides a single consolidated view of all channel parameters and it's available as a new tab in the channel editor window it's the default view and it can be pinned and follows channel selection we'll continue with more in the next video